Hello, it's Melinda from Alex and Melinda's Art Space. I got it right. Um, it's quite a mouthful, our new channel. Um, so coming on today with a art journal page inspired by James Burke, and I'll link his channel below. He's an Aussie living in America, I think it's California, Los Angeles era, maybe I'm wrong with that, but he's living in America somewhere. Um, and I've been really inspired by his style of art journaling. So this is a page that, well, sort of copies what he did, sort of inspired by, however you want to put it. Um, so he's got a love of washi tape, and so do I, and I don't utilise it as much as I should. So later on in the video I do utilise this washi tape. So starting out, I'm working in my recycled, altered novel book. Um, nearly finished in this book, a few more pages to go. So what I was doing there, um, with the novel I've actually quickly glued three pages together and removed every second page just to give it some wiggle room, and it still fell apart. So what I was just doing with the black marker, that's a Montana black paint marker. I got in a class kit several years ago. Um, so it's a water-based paint marker, and basically it's just paint in a texture, in a big fat marker with a spongy top. So I just did that all over the back. I could do the same effect with paint. Um, I just wanted to play and could be able to get the paint out and when you could dry. So I found these in a magazine, and James Burke um, draws a lot of these beautiful fashion-inspired simplistic, not simplistic, but yeah, fashion inspired models um, or girls and I really like his style so I'm not that great drawing sort of like him so I found these two pages in a magazine, they were facing pages one had a whole lot of like necklines and told you what sort of the neckline was and one another one had dresses so I assumed the heads and dresses would correspond in size and they didn't so I went and photocopied them on my print, um, printer and scanner I've got an all-in-one printer and scanner faxy thing um, so I made copies of them and I found that the heads and bodies didn't match. So I decided to use the heads and draw on a body. So here I'm just sort of thinking with my white marker and I'm going, it's not working. So I decided to stick the head on a blank piece of cardstock and sort of draw a simplified dress and arms and do no feet because the feet were going to be covered up anyway. So just sketching with a pencil. I decided to tuck their hands behind their bodies because I really suck at hands and still working on them. Um, James Burke can draw these really flowy hands that look amazing with a couple of strokes and I'm still trying to work out how to do that. But I liked how the page turned out in the end. So instead of drawing the heads of the dolls, I decided to do the dresses. Um, I may turn around and do heads for the other dresses because they're really cool in another video. So that's one done. Um, so basically, once you've got the head and shoulders, you can sort of sketch out, a, a sketch out further the dress, and then put some arms on it and cut it out. And tucking the hands behind your dress that means you don't have to draw them, which is handy. Um, so I was, yeah, quite impressed to how these come out. So just fussy cutting these out. I deliberately didn't do the black paint all around the edge. I wanted a bit of a sort of a scratchy border or an uneven border of the white or cream paper. So just going over these with um, a black marker or a black um, fine line marker in really sketchy style. James Burke does really sketchy and multiple lines for a drawing line and it looks really good and it's got like a nice flow to it. So I'm just cutting out the middle of the arm so they have black behind them so just cheating with that and just slicing the arm off the body at the hand piece and I'll stick them back down um, instead of trying to fussy cut with my knife so just giving them each a different look um, I go over the facial features a little they're a little light on the photocopied image um, so I just darken them up a bit they're a very simplified face which looks really cool and your style that I'm going for so it's a great jumping off point if you do use magazines um, as or someone else's sketch you can probably find some on the internet um, in your drawings and then you can add and make them your own um, so these magazine pictures I will probably keep photocopying and not use the originals and then just use them over and over again in different ways which will be really cool and eventually come up with drawing my own sort of sketchy faces but I haven't drawn like that for 20 odd years so it's yeah, going to take a while to get back into that. I used to draw a lot when I was um, 
in later primary school and into high school and used to draw portraits and hands and things really realistically and I just have not done that for quite a while. So just deciding to add some colour to the dresses. I've got a very limited amount of coloured textures. Um, I don't have one that's a skin colour. So I sort of go with a yellowy, which yellowy orange pinky one, which I'm not really impressed about. So here I'm just sort of testing the colours on, that's actually a permanent Sharpie, which not happy with the skin colour, but it's the closest thing I had. So it worked. And then um, going in with, trying to put a bit of shading in, but not much because it's a very small image, um, doing some doodling on the dress. So I'm obviously looking for something, uh, looking for a texture for the hair. So just using some Sharpie markers. So you can, um, James Burke used a lot of Copic markers, and I may invest, I'm not so much into Copic markers, Copic colouring just doesn't interest me, doing all that shading and all that sort of stuff. I tried it a couple of years ago and it just wasn't me. But I wouldn't mind a couple of Copic markers in skin tone colours or something to do skin tones if I keep doing girls like this because that would be handy because I don't really have anything that skin tone you want. Sorry, just taking a bit of a drink. So um, I think these ones I'm using are actually really, really old. Just grabbing for them. Um, really, really old in boss it. Um, I don't even know who to buy. Oh, it's, I'm going to butcher that name. Tizanuko? Tizan... Whatever that really weird name of inks are. And one's a Marvy La Plume. So they're really old markers that I had. Oh gee, that would be before even Alexis was born. I had those. Oh, one of my first few things to use with stamps. So they still work fairly well. Um, decided to put a bit of that one's a sharpie there at the moment. So I decided to put some zigzags in her dress because she's got a longer dress to get a bit more interest. With red and green, she looks a bit Christmassy, but that's okay. So when I'm happy with what I've done with the dresses and her skin, I put a bit of yellow into it and I really don't like it, but I still went with it. So just playing around with their positioning, where they're going to be on the page, and then I go and read my washi stash. So because I've used a lot of pinks and reds in the dresses, I decided to go with pink and red washi tape. Now this is a really small um, amount of washi tape that I pulled from my stash. I have a bit of addiction and I don't use it as often as I like. So I'm determined to use some rolls of washi tape up this year. Um, so stuff like this uses a lot of it, which is really cool. Um, so just gluing the the girls down with a glue stick. And I also add some glue stick to the page before I add the washi tape because I find some of it just peels up. Some of the cheaper stuff, the low tax stuff, just doesn't stick. It's great if you want to remove it, but it sometimes removes itself. And sorry, my book is quite down at the moment. I will push it up on the screen in a minute. So just looking at the washi tapes, and I'm actually building buildings. So I've seen James Burke do this, and it looks really cool. So I'm covering the bottom probably third to half of the page with washi tape. Dif different strips at different heights, and I've torn the top of them so they look really cool. You could cut them off if you wanted them square. But sort of making a, sea, um, a cityscape. I was going to say cityscape. There you go. Push the book up. I realised, oh, I'm not in frame. It's really hard on my video camera to make sure I'm in frame because it's a very small screen. And with my eyesight, it's shocking. Um, for me to see detail. Oh, okay, there's the audio again. Excuse me, I'm going to have some more water. Um, Lex had me up late last night. She's sleeping at the moment, I'm trying to get some videos filmed and edited. Um, she showed me up till like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock this morning because she was ill. So I'm still trying to catch up on my sleep. Sorry, back to what I was saying. It's really hard for me to make sure I'm in frame because the little screen on my video camera is probably about a metre away from where I'm sitting and standing. So to craft, and it's just really hard for me to see the detail in the little screen because the screen's only probably an inch by an inch. I am looking at getting something that'll hook up a TV under or like in front of me. I've seen actually I saw Mike Deacon um set up do that. He's actually somehow you can plug a video camera into another screen and then see what you're taping bigger. So I'm not that technical so I need to go to Harvey Norman and have a chat with them and see what cord I need or what I need or something so I can see that I'm in the screen bigger. Um 
so just finishing up with these I decided that it needed something from the top the top was very bare so I found some because it's a nighttime scene I found some washi tape that was silver with white stars missing from it so it when you put the white stars that are missing from the silver washi tape on a darker background the stars actually become darker and when you put them on a lighter background you can probably see that in the top right hand corner um, so that was a really cool contrast and sorry about the glare um, and you can see my books falling apart upcoming video on that so just squishing everything down this is an old credit card um, or gift card that I'm squishing everything down with just to make sure all the pieces are stuck down and just adding a little bit of detail to the tops of the building Oh, my silly pen, I must have gone over it in glue or something. So I swapped to, I started with a Uniball gel pen, which I have so much trouble with. This is a fine tip Sharpie white marker. So I suggest this if you actually want, let me grab it so I get the correct name of it. If you want a white paint pen, this one is awesome. So it's a Sharpie water-based paint white extra fine points. And I don't have any, this one I think I got from Officeworks. Um, so it's got a ball in it to shake up the paint. And it's the best white paint marker I've seen. It doesn't leak, it doesn't bleed. Usually I have blobby bits when I go to do. And it's a very fine tip. Um, I think Posca also make a white tip one as well, but I haven't tried a Posca one yet. Um, so just adding a sketchy white line around the ladies as well um, and adding some more features. I have sped this up three times, so I don't actually draw this fast. I decided to do a title. I'm not real good at my handwriting, but this year I'm just going with it. It's part of me. So, Paint the Town Red, I decided to call this because the girls are in red and pink and they're sort of standing behind a cityscape. And again, I'm sorry I pushed the book down so you can't see the bottom of it. So, I go over the wording a few times to get it darker. Um, and then I decided to put some little sketchy stars and dots in the page. We're nearly finished. I'm not sure whether I hold the book up for some close ups. Um, but that's my page inspired by James Burke and I think he's James Burke on YouTube but I will link him below um, but I really like his layout and decided to create one of my own I may do this in some more different colours it was a lot of fun to create and it was a lot of fun to do and use up some of that washi tape I've been hoarding there we go moved it up thanks for watching bye for now